Hi, everyone. I'm really happy to be here. Uh, so I've been a proud TELUS team member for six years. Uh, my journey has always been on the IoT team, so it's been a really exciting ride for the last six years. And uh, tonight I'm going to, as Maggie mentioned, I'll be talking about um, IoT. But just before that, like at TELUS, everything that we do, so whether it's our consumer team, our enterprise team, and also in our TELUS health team, so quick quiz, who here knows about TELUS health? Oh, great. <laughs> we, uh, so quick fact about that, TELUS provides 40% of the elect electronic medical records in Canada. And so whenever we do anything, we're always challenging ourselves and with, from our leadership as well as how are we going to do things to impact lives of individuals and of our communities. So we give where we live, we volunteer within our communities, and it's really important to be involved in what we do. And really, hopefully, by the end of the, uh, you know, the talk that I'll be giving to you tonight, the, what we try to do with IoT, and really what you do with IoT is about taking data, and it's to help how you run your business to get better insights in what you're doing. So hopefully you'll be able to get a glimpse of that this evening. So there's a lot of stats out there with regards to how many connections. So 11 billion qu uh, connections in IoT by 2021. Saw another one today that said 75 billion connections. So when we talk about stats and we talk about connections, we're really at the bottom of the hockey stick. So our neighbors, uh, if you like hockey analogy, we're really starting to see the growth. We're starting to see the growth and adoption. And in the next few years, we're going to see even more growth. And why is that? Well, when you're delivering an IoT solution to your customers, there's things that you need to do to be able to deliver those solutions. And this is an overview of the stack that you need to have to be able to bring your solutions to your customers. So at TELUS, we're a network provider. Um, so if you are a TELUS customer, you probably have a phone on TELUS. But what TELUS has done is when you think about IoT, there's millions and millions and millions of connections. And so it's important that you have the structure in the network to be able to do that. So TELUS has a purpose-built network for IoT. And as you see in terms of network evolution, there was 3G, there's LTE now. And in October of 2018, TELUS launched an LTEM network. So LTEM, which is also low power wide area network. That is a type of network that's meant to handle thousands and thousands of connections. But these connections aren't necessarily built in terms of speed of connection. It's a connection that is built that is made on notifying, it's low latency, and it's low data. So, What's happening is there's a bunch of new solutions that are being created, and it's powered by a SIM, by a chipset, hardware, and it's a connection that's meant, that can help to manage assets and track assets. So about five years ago, when our customers would come talk to us and they'd say, I want to solve this problem. I have a business. I want to track all of my assets. Can I do that? And when you looked at the hardware, when you looked at the data that would be transferred, it just didn't make sense. But now you have the opportunity to have devices that you can tag to a device. And that device can be in the field for five years or to seven years. Because all that device is doing every day is saying, I'm here. Somebody moved me. I have a coffee. No, just kidding. And so it's the type of solution that will open up tons and tons of possibilities. And we're really excited about that. But before I get into different types of examples in hospitals and long-term care in terms of these types of solutions, you know, why are people adopting IoT today? Well, cost of ownership. So there's a lot of business owners here. And if you are looking at how you're managing your business, you know, margins, operational costs, you want to be able to keep your costs down. So if you have an opportunity to get a better insight into where your assets are, you can use these types of solutions to see that maybe parts of your business you can optimize in terms of how you're managing that data, how you're using it, and make changes in terms of your value chain. You also want to be able to see all of your different aspects, and it's not something that maybe a human can see or that you'd be able to manage. So using the data from these types of solutions help you do that. If you're not looking at IoT solutions, chances are your competition may be, or they will be. And in some cases, it's, regular, it's a regulation that's driving adoption. So you're starting to see whether it's in Food, you know, food Safety Act. Uh, we're seeing it in different parts of our business in transportation as well regulating how certain verticals and solutions are being used. And when we talk to our customers, what are they telling us in terms of what's impacting the business? So the first thing that they tell us is they'll say, 
I have, um, I'm a manufacturing business and I have five different parts of my business, but I don't, I have a hard time to see like the full value chain, the end to end. How can I do that? I have five different subcontractors and I have 750 vehicles. I have no idea where they are. I have no idea how my drivers are driving. I have no idea how to plan my OPEX or my CAPEX. And so they're telling us, you know, if you're a supplier, for example, to a hospital, how do you know? So this is solutions that we have that can help them. And as a business, you're collecting a lot of data, but you're not necessarily correlating it. So giving, getting access to that data helps you make better decisions. And one of the things they always tell us too is they'll say, you know, I hear a lot about digital transformation, business transformation, but I don't, I don't really know how, where to start. Can you help us? And so we work with our customers to help identify what their biggest challenge is and then start on a journey with them so that they can start adopting different types of solutions and finding things that will help for them. So I'll give it different types of examples in terms of solutions that we, you'd see from IoT, LTEM solutions, and hospital and long-term and patient care. So if you've ever been to a hospital, and sometimes Canadian hospitals, or if you've been to uh, St. Michael's, sometimes hospitals, it's hard to navigate. Sometimes you're going to a hospital, and maybe it's for a great occasion, and sometimes it can be a little bit worrisome. And so if you have applications that can help you in terms of navigating, helping you in terms of telling you which, where to park, which entry to go into, it's an opportunity to be able to uh, have a better experience. And there's also studies that, there's been a study in a hospital in, um, oh, down in the US, and it was estimated that they were losing about a million dollars worth of productivity a year because everyone was giving different um, directions to people within a hospital. So you wanna be able to help reduce that. Asset management of critical tools. So if you have a crash cart, uh, if you have different assets and you don't know where they are, that can have an impact. So if you're losing them and you don't know, you're not optimizing their use. So you wanna be able to put an LTM tracker on them and that can help you in terms of managing those types of assets. Controlled access to data. If you have different, there's with digital transformation and if you're using a lot of tablets, you can create different types of applications so that if a tablet leaves the area, the data is not on it. And if you are, or if you leave it somewhere else, then there's no personal information that's left. So you can control and geofence where that data is being, like where that data is and when people can access it. Retail environments. So if you're in a hospital, there might be a gift shop, there might be um, a, like a Tim Hortons, and so there might be vendors in there. And so sometimes providing them also with directions to wayfinding, giving them access in terms of different types of solutions for managing their um, like uh, HVAC and those types of solutions are ways that they can improve and it can help them in terms of guiding people who are in the hospital and letting them know where those businesses are. And using all of that data together, if you're a hospital, it helps you make better decisions in terms of all of your different assets and changing that. In terms of long-term care, uh, asset management of critical tools. So in some cases, if you have um, oxygen, different lifts uh, for some of the different hospitals, there's cuts in healthcare, which is difficult. So maybe having these types of solutions give you insights, how they're being used. Um, also maybe where people are going. So where all of your ass, like if it's wheelchairs um, and all of those types of things that you typically have in a long-term healthcare, that definitely helps. And then uh, also monitoring uh, staff in different environments. So this is, these are really the types of applications that help you really use that data and make better decisions. And the last thing that I will help with, or that I'll wrap up with, is um, these are all, those were examples of different types of solutions that you can use that can help give you insight into your business. Uh, and then other things that TELUS are doing in health today. So there was an announcement earlier this, this week where we made, and it's health for good. And uh, TELUS is uh, providing, so it's mobile clinics. Uh, there's gonna be, there's already some in many cities, more across the country. And it's gonna be able to provide over 20,000 more uh, opportunities for patients to meet with clinicians to address some of their medical needs. So thank you very much for your time. Thanks. Thank you. Any questions? You also did an amazing job and answered all questions in your presentation. One question. Hi, thank Hi. you for the presentation. I'm just curious to know what specific healthcare needs are you targeting with the mobile health um, clinic bands, I guess I would say. 
Uh, so they have, uh, they can do different, so I, just so uh, full disclaimer, so I'm not part of that team. Uh, so I think it's basically uh, being able to reach patients who don't have access to health care, uh, a lot of homeless people and addressing any of their needs that they'd be able, they'd be able to have. And then the, the mobile vans, uh, so there was like announcement that were made this week, so they can do, there's a treatment area, there's a treatment area, and then there's also an area where they can be um, assessed as well. Hi, thanks for the presentation, very interesting. Um, I'm curious to know who are the typical users of the solutions and the infrastructure that you're providing? Is it administrators, is it the medical staff, is it a variety? Uh, so what we find typically in IoT, uh, it's usually, uh, sometimes it might be somebody from that particular area. So it could be maybe sometimes driven by a CFO if they're looking at some maybe reducing costs or maybe someone who's looking for a solution for uh, that part. So it could be like some type of operations manager or equipment manager. Uh, so it's going to depend uh, on the need. But uh, typically it's uh, someone that is part of the, like has a connection to that part of the business, but different than other, sometimes other solutions that might come more from um, an IT department. Okay, last question. Hi. <clears throat> really interesting uh, presentation. Just uh, what's the type of 5G enabled IoT products you have in line uh, in your roadmap maybe? Uh, so 5G for IoT, so LTEM, uh, and then our ongoing network evolution is going to be compatible with 5G. But in terms of solutions uh, today, like the we don't, they're not available today. So we're going to be looking at obviously lowest hanging uh, fruit in terms of needs and opportunities. We'll have to have another session to talk about 5G. Thank you, Mia.